The following review has been approved by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where Fighting Game Week continues with the review of Default on the Sega Saturn. Released in 1997 for the Sega Saturn, the game is called Default. And thankfully, it clarifies itself in the opening menu because I just kept calling it DX Herd the whole time. This is from Next Tech and Takara, the same people who brought us Battle Arena to Shinden. In fact, it's very similar, except it's called... Default. I win. And when I win, we all win. <laughs> This is a Japanese exclusive for the Sega Saturn. It's a weapons-based fighting game, and on the whole, I'd say it actually looks pretty good. But seeing as how it's a weapons-based game, button mashing isn't going to work for you here. You've got to learn some of the character moves to get through this one. Thankfully, most of them are pretty simple. But I definitely found that the faster characters worked better. While the uh, music strikes me as average fighting game music from the era, I've got to compliment the backgrounds. They look really good. Even if the fighter designs themselves are kind of, kind of lacking. It's got a bit of a battle arena to Shinden feel to it, but less cheesy. Boy. Well, he put a lot of work into his name, didn't he? <laughs> This one's got an awful lot going on for the Sega Saturn from 1997, so it's not quite as responsive or fast-paced as a lot of other fighting games, but also that's in part to it being a weapons game. You really need to learn some moves, especially with the swords, which can be really slow. Which is why I went Japanese schoolgirl all the way. Turn into God of War. Oh, it's Venus. There was a lady from Venus. Her body was shaped like a bucket. You get a small group of characters to choose from, a few unlockables. And of course you get single player and two player versus a friend in the same room. No no online multiplayer. Not even with the Sega net. You're fighting in a 3D arena, so you can move about using the D-pad and the top left and right buttons on your Saturn controller. The controls in general are pretty good. Most of the moves are short combos like down, down, back and forth, maybe some half moons, stuff like that. And like a lot of other Japanese Saturn games, the presentation and instruction manual are very nice. Great looking packaging. Do not game in a tea kettle and then try to serve it to the sun. Apparently that's bad. In addition to warnings, the manual also gives you the moves for all of the characters in the game. See, there's lots of moves. Schoolgirls know all the moves. It's hard to say what makes this one stand out among a sea of really good fighting games on the Saturn, but if you like Battle Arena to Shinden and other quirky off-the-wall fighting games that no one ever talks about, you gotta play this one. It's called... Default. Whoa, this is like the spooky sounding music. Hey, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Bob from East Hanover. What's up, Venus? New Jersey! Thank you, Bob, for sending. Yeah, what she say? Default. <laughs> There you go. This one's not bad. I've played better, I've played worse. Just remember to ask for it by name. Default. On the Sega Saturn. 
When in doubt, just keep stabbing their kneecaps. Works every time. Dissolve!